Shakari Richardson, Twanisha T. T. Terry, Tiana Daniels versus Elaine Tom Sahara, Sharika Jackson, and Brianna Williams. USA versus Jamaica. Who will win? And can Jamaica sweep once again? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please. Hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, which is at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, hit that like button. And finally, let me know who is going to win. The USA or Jamaica in the women's 100 meters at the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon. Coming up next, sports analysis, and then we take a look at your comments. So stick to the end. You just might hear from yourself. When you're ready? Yep. Good to go. So tomorrow, the 28th of May, 2022, we will see the Prefontaine Classic unfold in Eugene, Oregon at the Haywood Field Stadium. The featured event, I believe, for tomorrow's uh, clash has got to be the USA versus Jamaica. And what do I mean? The women's 100 meters where three of the United States best will take on three of Jamaica's best as happened in the 2021 clash. We all know what happened there. So let's take a quick look at the three US athletes and the three Jamaican athletes. And then you all decide which country will walk away with the victory meaning which country will win the most medals out of the three in offering for tomorrow's race sweeping the medals in last year's prefontaine classic and win women's 100 meters was jamaica we came first second and third uh with elaine tom sahara running that mind-bending 10.54 shelly and fraser price in second and sharika jackson in third First up for the United States, uh, the much-hyped Chakari Richardson, who finally opened her season uh, at the Duval County Challenge recently, running 11.37 for fourth in her first race, running into a minus 1.5 win. She came back to win the finals, 11, running 11.27. This race has some amount of controversy to it because as you can see, only four persons participated in the finals. And on some sites, they do not have that 11.27 as a, her official time. So I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Then, of course, running for the United States is just a young lady called Twanisha T.T. Terry. Now, this young lady is someone who's been on our radar for some time, a very consistent collegiate athlete. And in her last two openings, did extremely well at the Mount Sac. She ran that remarkable wind-assisted a, uh, 11, 10 10.77 she beat jamaica's brianna williams on that occasion but brianna williams had suffered from an injury and had basically not run out on her own now on may the first both athletes met up again and in the finals again it was Tanisha terry who won Tiana Dallas uh, came fourth last year at the Prefontaine Classic, surprising many, and uh, very, very recently beat her training part partner, Gabby Thomas, to take the gold at the Bermuda inaugural USAFT Bermuda Games over the women's 100 meters. So those are the U.S. athletes. Now let's take a, a look at Jamaica's athletes. First up, Brianna Williams. Williams ran her last race um, at the at the Pure Athletics Global Invitational in Claremont. She ran a win assisted at 10.96 to make it to the finals. She ran this in the heats.
and came second in the finals be behind TT Terrace United States, who ran 10.94 to win, with Brianna Williams running 11.03 to take second. They were both neck and neck uh, for a good portion of the race until TT Terry pulled away the end. Yeah. Sharika Jackson at the Mueller Birmingham Diamond League recently ran second, a very a photo finish second to Britain's uh, Dina Asher Smith. She ran 11.12 in not so ideal chilly conditions behind uh, Dina Asher Smith's 11.11. And of course, we you should know that elaine thompson hera very recently at the national stadium in her heats ran 11.35 at the jubilee series 2.1 and then came back in the finals to run a very easy looking um 10.94 in the final Here's my two cents. One, can Jamaica sweep? Not sure. Uh, it would mean that Brianna Williams would have to go sub 11 tomorrow um, for us to sweep. I believe she can do this, but whether or not she will, I'm not sure. Two, who will win? Jamaica or the United States? In my opinion, it's going to be Jamaica. Certainly beyond a shadow of a doubt, we should be able to win at least first and third. Now, why third? Because of this young lady, uh, Twanisha T.T. Terry. She's been running some crazy times, people, consistently. Now, that 10.77 in Mount Sac was win-assisted, but she did run a non-win-aided 10.94, uh, I told you, in that race in Claremont against Brianna Williams, where Brianna ran, ran her season best of 11.03. So, I think she could get in the mix somewhere. Um... This is, of course, not counting the Brit, the, uh, the Brit in the room, and that, of course, is uh, Dina Asher Smith. But we're discussing the Americans versus the Jamaicans. So I'm not sure if we could sweep. I'm hoping on an emotional level that we end up doing that. Uh, I believe that the American to watch the most threat to us is actually T.T. Terry. But Tiana Daniels uh, last year shocked many people. No one is talking about her. And I believe she's a very solid sprinter and should not be taken lightly. So I think she could also be a threat. I obviously think Jamaica is going to end up winning at least two of the three medals. And I believe Elaine Thompson will win. This is just my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Um, so I said it. Uh, Jamaica should win. I'm not sure if we can sweep. I think TT Terry and Tiana, uh, Tiana Daniels are serious threats. I'm not sure about Shakira Richardson. As I said, those times she's running, they're not very, they're not big times. Um, so let's see. So let's take a look at some of your comments. Uh, Q Sinner just said Elaine Tomzahara will take first place. For the win, my wife, <laughs> Dana Asher Smith, will take second place. Kambunji will take third place. Shakari will take fourth place. And Sharika will take fifth place. There is a possibility, a possibility that Sharika will fall start out of the meet altogether. Hope I'm saying this right. Amen Ra, Freedom, wrote TT Terry is going to win this race. Interesting. Uh, Jay Smith says no because Shikari beat TT in the second race. In the second race last week, showboating. So TT will be batting fourth and fifth with Shikari. Uh, he was referencing to their uh, Shikari's opening run, the finals, which has, was kind of very controversial. In EY Law 2006 says someone will pull out of this race. It's guaranteed and it won't be Jackson or Smith. 
that's interesting so you're saying that maybe uh elite well i've noticed that the jamaican top three female sprinters have just not met so i'm i'm excited to see sharika and um elaine run don't forget to hit the subscribe button go in and hit the notification bell leave a like if you enjoy the video leave your comments kings and queens bless up